All right, let's answer some questions. A viewer asks, is Newtonian physics laws that say energy can't be created or destroyed valid in the case of dark energy? So this is a really fascinating puzzle. And actually it even stumped Einstein. You see, when Einstein wrote his field equations and applied them to the universe, he got cosmological equations that showed that the metric was open. What does that mean? It means that the growth of space and time itself kept going. The Einstein field equations give us a set of rules for how the metric grows with time. And it showed that everything started out as a point, that's the start of the equation, and then as you give it time, it grows. So what Einstein did was, he actually applied a cosmological constant that subtracted off growth from the metric and kept everything static so that the universe was set steady state. And so we never had it growing or shrinking, it just stayed the same. However, when Edwin Hubble later looked at galaxies far away and found out that everything that we thought was the Milky Way galaxy, some of that was actually galaxies outside of the Milky Way. When he looked at the data, <clears throat> he found out that a ton of the galaxies were redshifted and were receding away from us. And the only way that could be possible is if space itself is expanding and thus in every direction, other objects that are far away are receding away from us. There's only a few nearby objects that are blue shifted or moving towards us. Andromeda galaxy is one. But if you look statistically, if there was no growth and no expansion in the universe, there should be just as many objects that are moving towards us or blue shifted as away from us and thus being red shifted. So the evidence from astrophysics that we found, what happened was cosmologists later went back and found out, hey, the universe actually is expanding. And so the original assertion that the um, Einstein field equations had that energy wasn't conserved and that the only thing that could, we could say is that the metric is open and that energy can actually be growing and created with this dark energy that is still alive today. Now, there's another question about this. What about at really short distance scales? Energy can also be violated for really short distances and really short amounts of time. So even locally, energy conservation is not always obeyed if the time that it happens is less than the uncertainty principle. So yes, classical physics and energy conservation is only valid at ordinary scales, but the real workings of the universe don't necessarily obey energy conservation all the time.